time to pick up my daughter. So, God, today's such a beautiful day. It's warm and sunny. Oh, let my skin soak up all the vitamins. I hope my baby had a good day. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Edith Soto. So you guys, I got a lot of feedback about speaking louder. So here I am. And also about having the camera a little bit closer. Instead of like so far out. So I figured I would have it like almost right in front of my face. So if you see any mess ups on my makeup, just ignore them. So there's so much going on in the world right now. And I was really hesitant to even continue making any kind of motivational video just because there's it's so hard you know there's so much going on right now and it's not a the happiest of time um but moving forward with that because it's a sensitive subject that it's gonna make me cry so we're not gonna go there but anyways i want to talk to you guys about how to stay organized or how i stay organized personally so i was explaining to you guys what i do an hour does only have 24 hours and when you look at everything else i'm doing these habits these things that i these five things that i do overall help me be able to get those get shit done it helps me be able to stay on top of it and then people are always telling me like how the hell do you get all, all this shit done <laughs> it's not as wonderful as it seems sometimes because i feel like i give up a lot to be able to do a bunch of other things it comes with the price so okay guys i want to tell you guys how i stay motivated and how i stay organized with such a crazy life um, for starters, if you don't know already, I do have four kids, so I have a lot going on already. I am a full-time student right now in school because I decided to go back and pursue a whole different career. That's a whole different conversation. I haven't even told my mom or, you know, my family about. So I'm going to share my five tips on what I do to keep myself organized. My first one, it's my biggest one. You need to have a support group. For, for me, I feel like it's more about the quality of people that you have around you over the quantity of people. So, you know, so I have my, my biggest supporter, my biggest, you know, my best friend, my husband. If it wasn't for him, oh, Lord knows. Like, I know when my friends come over, like, they always see him helping me running around. Like, we, he takes... From this big load, he makes it smaller. Um, one, because he helps me a lot. Two, because even when I have my breakdowns, even when I feel like I can't go on, even when I don't want to get up from bed, he's there and he pushes me to do better. If I feel like, if I hit myself with a negative comment when we're talking or something, he says, uh, excuse me, like, yes, he can do it. So I appreciate that and I feel like if your mom is not your closest friend like i'm not saying stop talking to your mom but surround yourself with people that will give you that positive energy if you hang out with a group of friends that are obviously not encouraging you to be the the best version of yourself i'm sorry like as much as you love them you have to move on because this is your life what are you going to do in 10 years we're well, going to look back and say oh, you were so determined to be friends with those people that you did nothing with yourself you know there are people out there they might not fit the image that you're looking for but it is so important like give those people a chance because they can change help you change your life just the emotional part of it they will give you what you need and that is huge like stop wasting your time around a bunch of bums or a around a bunch of no good 
kind of friends you know help yourself and you surround yourself you know do yourself that favor and surround yourself by good people it makes a difference okay two my biggest you know next to my biggest supporter is keeping a planner honestly i wouldn't know my head from my ass if i did not have my planner i write everything down even if it's a call like even if it's like oh i need to like call my grandpa or follow up with my my teacher or my advisor like i literally write it down and i know like i don't even close my planner i don't care how cute the planner looks it's more beneficial to me if i leave it open wherever i go guess what the planner's there with me it sounds almost a little crazy or like a little you know whatever but i'm sorry the, the whole phone situation it does not help me like i'm a visual person and if i have to go look for it in the depths of my phone might as well look through my messages too like it's it doesn't help me it doesn't work for me so again these are things that work for me um so yes write everything down you know kind of like a checklist like if you if you're gonna put make a call at 3 p.m or whatever put a little check mark next to, you know a little box next to it that you can check off whenever you complete it if you go to bed keep it next to your bed so whenever you wake up and you get up that's the first thing you're gonna see third one I would say make yourself a priority and by that I mean not to be selfish or anything but make sure that you get your meals in There's, you're gonna get nothing out of your day or in the long run if you skip meals because you're in a rush or because you have to do other things like I know people always say do self-care and blah 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 it's for a reason it's because a lot of us have hit rock bottom or have ended up ended up in the hospital so we're telling you it matters yes maybe not every single day like the whole self-care routine blah, blah blah no but it makes a big difference when you make sure that you're eating you're drinking your water you're taking your daily vitamin like all those little things are gonna help you feel the best version of yourself and you will be able to stay organized and on top of your shit plain and simple my fourth one would honestly be working out and i know working out is not for everyone and i'm not a doctor i'm not saying what you should do or shouldn't do but working out even if it's like a walk even if it's just you know something simple but just getting something in it's not only gonna help you with your health but it's going to you know clear up or whatever emotions you have it will help with that like it'll help like if you're angry you know, go take it out at the gym go run it on come back fresh and you know get started like i feel like my day is a lot better when i start with my workout because i'm awake like there's no way i could not be awake so big thing incorporate some time for working out it will make a difference it'll help you stay on top of your things so all these little things will like all together help you, you know? My fifth one would be just change your mindset. If you keep, to, if you wake up and you say, oh, it's going to be a crappy day or, oh my gosh, I have so many things to do. I'm not even going to do them. How do you expect to get anything done then? You're probably not even going to do one of the things in your list, like... It didn't matter what you did. This is like probably the most, one of the most important ones. Like it's going to be ultimately on you. If you have to go water the grass for it to grow. Well, guess what? If you have an ugly mindset and you're like, the grass is not going to grow anyway by tomorrow. Well, then you're only making it worse because it's now it's not even going to grow by whatever. Like it's going to be more dead. Yeah, it's just an example so mindset 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 you have to change your mindset if you tell yourself if you're your own cheerleader you it'll help you keep track of yourself if you know you have something to do if you tell yourself i can do it it's gonna help you stay on top of it and it's gonna help you so i know it, it sounds like oh it's too much like happy energy well what do you want you want to be crying every day you want to be mad every day do you really want to put yourself through that because i will tell you you're going to be miserable and you're not going to get shit done if you know you have x amount of things to do 
aim to get them done don't wait until the next day because now you have more shit like if you only had 10 now you're gonna have 12 or 15 whatever it is so pump yourself up be your biggest cheerleader get it done otherwise when i'm the most negative i know i'm not gonna get in there and it's not gonna help my situation so honestly like claim positive things towards you and it'll help you big time so you can either say i know i only gave you five things but those five things are uh can be very beneficial um maybe it's easier said than done so maybe try incorporating a little bit of those things try putting a little bit of those things in every day that way the more that you see it the more that you practice it the more the easier it'll be you know you're never gonna learn a language unless you start practicing just reading the textbook or looking at it online the, another video like might not be as beneficial as you know putting yourself there to actually you know get it done all together you're just building healthy habits you're building healthy habits for your your life right now for your future and i don't mean to come off as a b-i-t-c-h but what do you want to be do you want to be a winner do you want to be a loser where do you see yourself in five years in 10 years what do you want out of life what are you going to do to get there do you just think it's going to magically happen for you do you think just one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be living that life to some people it happens and oh my gosh i envy you the good kind of way but to a lot of us we have to bust our ass so i'm just saying like start making changes now i know in the beginning of the year or at the end of like 2021 everybody was all like high energy and high focus on oh 2022 is gonna be our year and a lot of people have to, like no the years like just started still like if you fell off act like it didn't happen shake it off brush it off whatever and get back on it you ate bad one day or whatever you've ate bad this whole year there's still more to the year left than there has passed we're only on day like 30 something or 40 something like it's gonna be fine you have to take the step to work on yourself you have to build these heavy this healthy habits you have to want to make the change if you don't then then you don't but also what's gonna like you have to see the cost like is it is that what you really want you know for the long run because you're gonna give up so much if you just give up and there's no point in that you know and it sucks that a lot of us you know and i say a lot of us i include myself because i feel like i literally had to hit rock bottom for me to learn and that's why i wish that a lot of people would take at least this out of my video like i and a lot of people share these things because of a reason because we probably have <laughs> scraped our face on the floor already with this crap and there's you know a whole reason behind it not like we just went to school and studied this and we just have want to give free information out no it's because we want everybody not to have to experience that like and unfortunately a lot of people do have to go through that me included like and from there you know pick up my head and move on so here i am because sometimes even then like a lot of people get consumed by all the negativity and that's the end of them and it sucks because it's like life hit you so hard and you hit rock bottom and it won or the other person won like what about you like what about your life your goals like yes a bunch of bad things can happen but a lot of great things can also happen you try to switch your life around learn from those things and continue forward so I'm trying so hard to talk louder. If there's anything else that you want me to like go into detail about, just let me know. I do not mind getting, you know, going into detail, explaining something further, messages, comments, back and forth. Totally cool with it. Um, but yeah, um, the weather's definitely getting better. So we're probably going to start doing some shoots outside. And I'm looking so forward to that. And I might start bringing the kids, the family, more into it because I think they're excited about the YouTube videos now. Alright guys, so if you guys can please do me a favor, like my videos, and subscribe. Okay, welcome back guys. No, como era? Welcome back guys, my name is Edith. No. I hope Andres is not out there because here comes the nervios again. Okay.